examine the ARP table. Addressing table to routers, to routers, and to networks. Examine an ARP request. Generate ARP requests by pinning 172.16.31.3 from 172.16.31.2. Okay, from 2, ping 3. Click and 2 and open command prompt. Click here on 2 and desktop command prompt. Enter the ARP option D command to clear the ARP table. ARP option D. Enter. Enter simulation mode. Click here, simulation. Pink 172, 16, 30, 1, 3. Okay, click here. Uh, Pink 172, 16, 30, 1, 3. 172, 16, 30, 1, 3. Enter. Two PDUs will be generated. Okay, two PDUs, ICMP and ARP. ICMP and ARP. The ping command cannot be completed the ICMP packet without knowing the MAC address of the destination. So the computer sends an ARP broadcast frame to find the MAC address of the destination. Click Capture Forward once. Okay, click here, Capture Forward. The IRP PDU moves switch one. Okay, moves switch one. While the ICMP PDU disappears. Waiting for the ARP replay. Open the PDU and record the destination MAC address. Okay, click here. The destination MAC address is F F F F F F F F F F F F. Okay, this a broadcast MAC address. Okay, is the broadcast address on layer two. So the destination will be all PCs on this network. Is this address listed in the table above? Okay, uh, no. Okay, you can see the MAC addresses, but no uh, FF MAC address. No, the answer is no. Okay, close this. Capture, then forward, click here again. Now you can see this goes to three devices, two PCs and the router. How many copies of the PDU did switch one make? Three, one, two, and three. What is the IP address of the device that accepted the PDU? Okay, this device accepted the PDU and the IP address is 172.16.30.1.3 172.16.30.1.3 Open PDU and examine layer 2 Okay, click here on the PDU 
on the accepting device. What happened to the source and destination MAC addresses? Look at here on inliers column, the source MAC address 00C85CC1DA7, source MAC address, and is the is the MAC address of 172.16.31.2, the source PC. And the destination is FF. But on outliers, the source is 00607036. Two eight four nine. Is this the MAC address of three one seventy two sixteen thirty one three? Okay, this and the destination now is zero 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 C eighty five CC one D A seven. Is the MAC address of one seventy two sixteen? In layers receive the message and out layers send the response. Close this. Clap you forward until the PDU returns to 172.16.31.2. Okay, capture forward. Capture form. Okay. How many copies of the PDU did the switch make during the ARP replay? Okay. Only one. Only one. Examine the ARP table. Now that the ICMP packet reappears. Okay. ICMP is this. Open PDU and examine the MAC addresses. Okay, click here on ICMP or click here on ICMP. Do the MAC addresses of the source and destination align with their IP addresses? They verify. Mm, Uh, on layer 2, source MAC address is 000C85CC1DA7 and belongs to 172.16.31.2. So it's the source, very good. The source. And zero zero six zero seven zero three six two eight four nine belongs to MAC address of one seventy two sixteen thirty one three. The destination. This very good. Yes. So. So the answer here is uh, yes. Switch back to real time. Close this and go to real time. Click 172.16.31.2. Click here. ARP option A. ARP option A. Enter. Okay, this command. To what IP address does the MAC address entry correspond? Okay, this is the MAC address and correspond to 172.16.31.3. In general, when does an end device issue an ARP request? When it does not know the receiver's MAC address. Examine a switch MAC address table. 
generate additional traffic to populate the switch MAC address table. From 172.16.31.2, enter ping 172.16.31.4. Okay, this is the command prompt on 172.16.31.2 and ping 4. 172.16.31.4, enter. Success. Click 10, 10, 10, 2 and open common prompt. Okay, click here, 10, 10, 10, 2. Desktop common prompt. Ping 10, 10, 10, 3. 10, 10, 10, 3. Okay, enter. Success. How many replies uh, were sent and uh, received? Okay, send four, receive it four. Send four, receive it four. Examine my cutter table on the switches. Click switch one, command line interface top. Switch one, click, command line interface top. Enter show my other stable. Enter show mark address table. Enter. Do the entries correspond to those in the table above? Okay. Uh, 0, 0, 0, 00012640 AD75 on facet number 3. On um, facet three and four. Okay, four zero 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 two one six four zero eighty seven five. Okay, very good. Zero 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 C. Uh, 85 CC 1D A7 on facet another one. Okay, this is facet another one. On number two and number two, 000, 000 C 85 CC 1D A7. Very good. Okay. Okay. Facet another two, 000 60 Okay, this is number two port number two and belongs to PC number three. PC number three, 00607036 very good. Okay. Okay, very good. And 00E0F7B1, 8901 on gigabit zero one. Okay, on gigabit zero one. On the switch, the router interface, the router one interface gigabit, zero zero E zero E F seven B one eighty nine zero one. Okay, very good. Great. Do the entries correspond to those in the table above? The answer is yes. Switch zero. Switch zero. Common line interface center. The CLA tab, enter, show my address table command. Show mark address table only gigabit zero one gigabit zero one is the connection to the router uh, the connection to the access point is missing okay uh, no connection to the access point so repeat the ping from 10, 10, 10, 2, 
to 10, 10, 10, 3. Repeat the ping. Click here, command prompt, and ping 10, 10, 10, 3. Success, close this. Switch zero again, and repeat, show MAC address table. Now, you can see uh, one entry for gigabit 01 and two entries for fast Ethernet 02. Fast Ethernet 02 is the connection to the access point. Okay. Uh, do the entries correspond to those in the table above? Okay. Uh, Gigabit 01 is the connection to router. Router 0 gigabit interface. Router 0 gigabit interface. 001 Okay, match. Very good. And for Saturnet 2, two entries to MAC addresses. And these two MAC addresses uh, are the MAC addresses of these two laptops, these two PCs. Okay, 10, 10, 10, 2. 10, 10, 10, 2 is 0, 0, 6, 0, 2F, 8, 4. 4a b6 0, 0, 6, 0, 2f 4 4a b6 very good and 10 10 10 3 10 10 10 3 0, 0, 0, 6, 0, 4, 7, 0, 6, 5, 7, 2b 0, 0, 0, 0 Zero zero six zero four seven zero six five seven two B. Very good. Okay. Do the entries correspond to those in the table above? Yes. Why are two MAC addresses associated with one port? Okay, two MAC addresses associated with one port fast Ethernet zero two. Because uh, two devices are connected to the access point, and this access point is connected to only one port. And this port is Fossil Ethernet 2. Examine the ARP process in remote communications. Generate traffic to procedure ARP traffic. Click uh, 31.2. Okay, click here. Open command prompt, ping 10, 10, 10, 1. 10, 10, 10, 1. Um, 10, 10, 10, 1 IP address is the IP address of gigabit interface of router 0. Okay. Ping 10, 10, 10, 1. Enter. Success. Type ARP option A. ARP option A. Now you can see the ARP table. What is the IP address of the new ARP table entry? Okay. Uh, a previous ARP table was this uh, 172.16.30.1.3 and the uh, MAC address. Okay. You have uh, 172.16.30.1.3 and 30.1.4 and the MAC addresses. This is the new entry 172.16.30.1.1. And the MAC address 172 163111 is the gigabit interface on router one. Okay, 
And this is the new entry, 172, 16, 31, 1. The default gateway. ARP option D to clear the ARP table. ARP option D. And go simulation mode. Simulation mode. Repeat the ping. Okay, click here. Through the one, two. Repeat the ping. Ping 10, 10, 10, 1. Now you will see the ICMP and IRP PDUs. ICMP um, pink and ARP on, on green. How many PDUs appear? Two. ICMP and ARP. Click Capture Forward. Click the PDU that is now at switch one. Okay, capture Forward here. And click this PDU on switch one. Click here. What is the target destination IP destination address of the ARP request? Okay, remember the green PDU is the ARP request. And outliers column. Layer two. The source MAC address is 000C, A5CC, 1D, A7. The source is, uh, is this. Okay, 172, 16, The destination on layer two is the all, uh, all devices is because the destination is the broadcast on the broadcast MAC address, but the ARP is uh, the source IP is 172.16.31.2, but the destination is 172.16.31.1. So this is the answer. What is the target destination IP destination address? of the ARP request is 172.16.31.1, destination IP address. So you need to know the MAC address of the gigabit interface on router one. The destination IP address is not 10.10.10.1. 10, 10, 10, Why? Okay. The destination host is 10, 10, 10, 1. If the destination host is not placed in the same network, the host uses the ARP process to determine the MAC address of the default gateway. In this case, the default gateway is gigabit interface on router 1. Examine the ARP table on router one. Switch to real time mode. Real time. Router one. CLA tab, command line interface. Enter. Enable. Okay, now you are on privilege exec mode and show MAC address table. Show mac address table. Okay. How many mac addresses are in the table? Why? Okay, no mac addresses. Okay, zero. Why? The show mac address table command on a router is uh, something completely different that the show mac address table command on a switch and the show arp command show arp is 
is there an entry for 172, 16, 30, 1, 2? Okay, 172, 16, 30, 1, 2, yes. And this is the MAC address. So the answer here is yes. What happens to the first ping in a situation where the router responds to the ARP request? For this reason, the first ping fails. It times out. Hey, okay, thank you.